For the first half of summer, I was down in South Georgia and Florida working on a project called Red Clay and Ham Sandwiches. Now, when I got back to New York City, I decided to take a little trip out to Coney Island. It was a dreary, blustery day, but it created a lot of drama, a lot of emotion that I managed to capture both digitally and on film. Very sweet. <laughs> so, Gab, what are we looking for? Um, there's so much going on here. It's so hard to figure out the clothes because I know the wind is going. It's, uh, it's so hard to digest it all. There's flags flying, there's lots of visual elements, lots of movement here. So I'm really trying to capture the emotion of what's going on. As I was walking, I saw a boy with a towel over his head, and I knew it would make an amazing portrait. I immediately got nervous, knowing I had to find a way to approach total strangers. I mean, all the horrible judgments of me that they could possibly make went through my mind. See, part of why I've always loved photography is that it forces you to constantly confront your fears. There's always that one shot that you see that's incredible, but the fear in that moment is just as great, and in that split second, you have to decide to act or let that fear define you. To live with regret or decide to be open to what the world offers. No one can teach that to you. You have to find it in yourself to really just feel that fear and do it anyway. And I found that your ability to do that will not only define your success in photography, but also your success in life. I photographed a lot of stuff on the beach. I will probably still come down here. However, what I want to do now is I want to head up to the pier up here where people are eating, I'm imagining in my head people are eating cotton candy, hot dogs, all these other visual elements that I want to explore. So let's go over there, check that out, keep our inspiration fresh.
question. So we were on the beach and obviously there are so many kids on the beach. So how do you approach photographing kids? Because you can be very sensitive with their parents, right? Yeah, so kids, they can be tricky. But I think for me, it's all how you approach it as with anything else in life. Um, being a photographer, you can't just exclude kids entirely, especially if you're doing documentary work. Because they're so integral to like how life is and how humanity, you know, they, they're important. They're just significant in the world, obviously, right? They're one of the most significant things in our lives. So just to exclude them would be wrong. And so, but it's also wrong to run up, you know, guns blazing when you have, you have to you just empathize with people. You don't, I, the way I shoot and the way I approach children is the same way I would want someone to approach me about photographing my kids. Yeah. I don't just go and start, it's not like somebody else. Everyone else is fair game, freedom of the press, I'm running around, I'll take whatever photo I want. But with kids, there's an extra level of empathy that you have to deploy, as any normal human being would. And so I just take it step by step. I'm super friendly, I talk to the parents first, they don't just run up with the camera. Yeah. I say, hey guys, would you mind if I took a picture of some of the kids? That's what I did back there. And they were, you know, obviously a little bit worried about it. Right. It's just your job as a professional, as a photographer, to put them at ease with what you're doing. Yes. And part of that is just being real. Don't try and BS people. Just tell them. Be like, hey guys, I thought this was cool. It looked really interesting. I'm a photographer. I'm looking to capture special moments of beach culture out here. And I saw your kids doing something that was really special and visually unique. Would you mind if I took a picture? I'm happy to send them to you. Yeah. And so a lot of people, when you just approach them like that, genuine, smiling, you put off a good energy, they'll either respond with a uh, positive you know, yes, or they'll at least respond with uh, a no, but not in a mean, usually not in a rude way. Yeah. And if, that, if they say no, I'm happy, I'm fine with that, obviously, I understand. But yeah, that's how I, that's how I typically choose to do it. It's, uh, it's not always easy. You gotta really take it on a case-by-case -case basis and empathize with the, the parents in any situation. Yeah, great. As I was walking out to the pier, I noticed a birthday party hosted by some of my Puerto Rican friends. Now, I'm just so comfortable on any pier on earth, and I really try to lean into those environments that I know and that I have a unique connection to where I can just flow through the crowd and I feel completely myself and at home. Blue hour, uh, really, really cool 
on film. So what I'm going to try and do is find these little lights in blue hour, especially the neon down there at the uh, end of Coney Island where the uh, amusement park is. I'm going to go down there looking for some really cool shots. I only have three shots, so I have to uh, pick my shots carefully, but let's see yeah. what I get. <laughs> If you look at, if you start from here and go all the way down, every person sitting on a bench is like a character I could take a portrait of. Now I'm just trying to figure out which one I want to start with. The guy <laughs> playing the accordion, or the old guy with the cane, or the women right here with the amazing hats. Like yeah, so guys. many characters. It's Love difficult. It. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a good problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> hungry and happy so let's yeah. go get some food uh, thank you guys for watching please subscribe uh, like this video if you enjoyed it and uh, let me know what you think see you guys next time bye